trip with one of my best friends, Ariana, with three kids, two toddlers and one newborn. So we're gonna see how this goes. We're going to a really big mall um, in Orlando and we're from like the Tampa area. So it's about an hour, 45 minute drive, maybe two hours depending on traffic. But we really wanna go there because there's a Zara there and we don't have one locally. We're doing it. I literally woke up at 6.30 in the morning. I slept horrible because Rowan slept horrible. I got ready at 6 30 in the morning. I packed everything the night before. I installed all the car seats because I'm picking them up. So I put Brindley in the third row. I need coffee. Wish us luck. Oh. 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 She's like, I'm sorry, babe. She's like, like, I take it back. She's like, I seen my bite of chicken. <laughs> She's like, I'm good now. I'm good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we survived. It took us how long? Like three and a half hours. <laughs> Literally three hours. Three hours to get here because we stopped to get Starbucks and then we stopped and went to the park because we realized the mall doesn't even open until an hour after we got here. So we stopped and they got their energy out. And we missed like the first exit. Oh, we did <laughs> miss the first exit. Actually, I missed a lot of turns and like there's a giant GPS and I, I'm just, I'm really <laughs> bad at directions. But we're finally here and Tweedledee and Tweedledum over here are like, like crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're like two peas in a pod. But um, Rowan is being a little needy, but you know, it's okay, baby. I fed him and now he's just like biting his sleep. We're eating some lunch. We already went to Forever 21 and now we're gonna go to, oh my gosh, two other stores. But so far, we made it with two toddlers and a newborn. It's going good. It's going, it's going good. good. We'll keep you posted. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm gonna take a quick interruption in today's video and thanks Sutera for sponsoring today's video. So this is the Sutera Dream Deep Pillow. It's one of those pillows that come in that little, like a box and then when you open it up, it like expands. So it's super cool and I have been loving this pillow because ever since having Rowan laying down and then getting up to breastfeed all throughout the night has had me waking up with knots in my back and I would have Steven have to like use a Theragun to like massage it out. And ever since using this pillow, I have noticed a difference. It is so nice for back, side, and stomach sleepers and I'm a back sleeper and I never had like a good pillow to use. I used to have like a super thin one and a super thick one and every time I would wake up, especially with getting up and getting down during breastfeeding, I would wake up with knots. So this, this pillow is awesome because your body pretty much contours into it. It also has high density density cooling foam and temperature regulating foam which is awesome because again with the postpartum night sweats I hate anything that gets me super sweaty and this doesn't it also um, helps with your cervical alignment which is nice um, so you just don't wake up as like achy in the middle of the night so I definitely recommend this pillow it's also nice because you can just like take it there's a zipper here and you can take it off put it in the wash and then put it back on and yeah it's just so soft so cushy and it just like contours your body into it and makes it all cozy so i feel like this pillow definitely like improves your overall sleep i have noticed at least i don't wake up as just like so achy all the time so i definitely recommend this pillow i'm gonna leave a link to it down in the description box and you can also use my code osborne's 20 for 20 percent off check them out and yeah on to the video now wow daddy is so nice to me what is this thing? you want me to open this one Oh, thank you. Can I have it? Is that from you? Oh. Thank you. Wow. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day. Brinley's having a temper tantrum. So we finished at the mall yesterday. It was kind of hectic to finish vlogging for the rest of the day, but it is my birthday now. I am 27. I'm closer to 30. Come on. I'm closer to 30 than I am 20, which is really sad. This one's hitting a little hard, but um, we opened presents this morning. Steven got me a whole bunch of stuff. He definitely outdid himself, but what's new? And then we made it, I got some Starbucks, and then we made it to a park, and then I'm gonna meet my mom for like some lunch or something. I'm so sad. My sister is supposed to meet us too, but one of her boys is sick, and it's so sad, but it's okay. Um, we're still gonna have a good day. So yeah, we're at the park. Brinley's riding her bike. Rowan is here, chilling, straight chilling. Well, I fed him, 
but he's like falling asleep now. But we're just hanging out in the park and then we're heading out soon to meet my mom close by for some food. And then we're gonna go home. I'm probably gonna do some orders. And then tonight, Steven and I and the kids are gonna go to dinner. So it's a fun, it's been a nice relaxing birthday. I come, I like to do something outside on my birthday every year because my birthday is obviously in October. So I like the weather. So really say happy birthday. Say hi. hi. Say happy birthday, mama. Go. Say mama. mama. Do you want to ride your bike more? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Say hi. hi. Say I love you. Um, Girl, where are you going? Why does this always happen? When you have kids, they just like stop riding their bike and then you have to like, luckily we have the stroller, but. What? Oh, you want to be here? Are you happy for Mama? She's 27. What you do? Wow. Hi. 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 later it is now about almost four o'clock and I got home Brinley and I had lunch with my mom and then um, we came home I put her down for a nap I fed Rowan he's sleeping in the swing I got myself ready did some orders um, uploaded a sponsorship video and here I am I got ready I keep buying clothes but I'm just trying to figure out how to like pair it all together but this is my little outfit of the night. I honestly don't really have like dresses and stuff like that. And I'm just like a simple person. I'm not a person to like wear dresses and skirts. So as much as it doesn't look like it's my birthday, I this is me getting dressed up. I just like, I need to get more dresses. But I'm waiting for Steven to get out. He's gonna get out of work in a few minutes and then we're gonna go pick up his truck cause it's ready cause he got a new truck and things need to be fixed and then we're gonna go to dinner and then we're gonna come back home but I wanted so now that I'm like ready I wanted to talk to you guys I don't know where to sit it's not anything serious but I did want to update you guys because I feel like I haven't updated in this vlog um Rowan was in the hospital it was not fun if you guys know the year that we've had it's been pretty crazy we got in a car accident while I was pregnant and that was really traumatic and then um We've lost a loved one this year. Um, we were without a car weeks before. Rowan was due this year and then he was born and we were actually in the hospital for three days with him. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've already would have known. I don't really post too much about this stuff because it's kind of weird for me to be like, hey, we're in the hospital. Like, I don't know, it's kind of awkward to say that. But um, I also think it's more weird if just like I pretend that it just didn't happen because that's not real life. So yes, um, we were, see, Rowan was in the hospital. It was really depressing, really sad, um, really lonely. He pretty much had a high fever and I called his pediatrician and my sister-in-law who's a nurse practitioner and they both advised us to go to the hospital. Um, he had 103 fever and when we got there, they did a spinal tap, they did catheters, they did an IV three different times, and an IV one time, even when I give birth, is a lot. So the fact that it was three different times, because he was so dehydrated, they couldn't even find veins or blood, like they would get in the vein and blood would even come out. So that was really hard to deal with, especially Stephen couldn't be there. He obviously had to be with Brinley, and even if he wasn't there with Brinley, he, it could only be one parent. Um, we ended up getting admitted and we were in the hospital for two days, three days total, two nights, three days, which is crazy. Pretty much after multiple tests done with him, it ended up being that he probably just had like a viral, like, you know, cold or whatever. I was sick the week before and I'm pretty 110% positive he just ended up getting sick from me. It's hard not to hold him when I was sick because I obviously nurse him. So it's like, how do you, I could have worn a mask, I guess, but mom guilt creeps up on you and I'm not gonna think that way. It Everything happens for a reason. And sadly, this is just added on to our year of 
of I want to say inconveniences but kind of um I filmed like a little clip when I was in the hospital I'll if I find it I'll insert it so yeah it was really lonely I was there for three days by myself um staring at a wall crying it was really lonely but we're back home now he's nice and healthy and um thank god I'm just ready for this year to be over it's just like right when I was just like super happy, which I'm happy now, like I feel like another thing just like rocked us. So just wanted to throw that in there because I felt like it was weird pretending it didn't happen, you know what I mean? But yeah, he was hospitalized, but we're home now. He's healthy, everything's good. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my birthday dinner. And I think this is gonna be a week in a life vlog because I don't think I'm gonna vlog too much today. I don't know, we'll see how long this video is. But I'm ready now, I'm gonna pack the diaper bag which we did go out obviously this morning so I don't think I have to pack too much. I also have to get Brinley dressed because she got so messy at the park today so I do have to get her dressed. I'm gonna pack the diaper bag and then we'll head out to my birthday dinner, woo -hoo. Okay guys, so we made it to dinner. We always go to Cheesecake Factory. It's literally my favorite restaurant ever. Brinley, say hi. Hi. She Excuse me, she's so cool to even look up. Mm -hmm. But um, we are having an appetizer now. Steven, how are you? I'm good. Hey. How's your birthday? It's really good. Thank you for all the presents. No, yeah, well. You outdid yourself again. No. That's just normal. No, that shouldn't be normal. <laughs> normal for us. No. <laughs> but Roanoke's over there. And we ordered an appetizer, so we're ready on that. It's fried mac and cheese balls. Heck yes. They walk around the mall depending on what time we finish dinner and everything, but we're like in the best mall yeah. ever. International Plaza. Woo. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Oh, Papa. 